So 331 is all about modeling, okay? And modeling just means you're supposed to represent, you know, some real world phenomenon using something else, whether it's a math equation, whether it's using like, you know, you have a model car that represents a humongous car or a model home that represents a hum like an actual real life home. That's what this means by modeling, okay? Okay, you were gonna wanna write this down because there will be one problem on every single test. It's usually the first one in the calculator section for whatever reason, they always put it there. And it asks you to determine the context of a certain problem, okay? It'll give you a certain derivative. And a lot of the times, if you just figure out the units for it, the units give away the answer, okay? These problems are very, very, very difficult to create. So I tend to just use what AP gives me because you'll see why they're complicated. It's, they're almost like paragraphs. Like you have, you have to read to figure out what the unit is. Okay, so if it's F prime of X, you take whatever the units of F is, just regular F, not F prime, and you divide it by whatever the units of X is. Now this kind of makes sense in, hold on, let me save this. This kind of makes sense if you think about it in terms of physics. Okay, and that's probably the best way of looking at this. One of the best ways of looking at the units is, so F prime, the units for F prime would be whatever the F units are divided by whatever the units of X are. Okay. So the, what I was talking about with physics here, if you do something like uh, the position is X of T, if you did the derivative of this, so X prime of T, this is equal to velocity. Well, let's just say that the position was in meters. Okay, well, velocity would be in meters per whatever the time is in. Well, the time, let's just say it's in seconds, it would be meters per second. Okay, now if you do the derivative of velocity, you get acceleration. Whoops. Okay, these units would be whatever the unit of velocity is, which is meters per second, divided by whatever the unit of time is, which is seconds. This is why it's meters per second squared, all you physics people. Okay, so you're taking what the original thing is, whether it's velocity, position, whatever it is, and you're dividing it by whatever the X value is. In this case, it's time, and I just said it was in seconds. Okay, now this would be really nice if the modeling, the context of this derivative, the units were always given in physics terms, but unfortunately they're not. They're given in really weird terms. But, uh, you know, if you read through it enough, you should be able to figure it out. So here is an example problem for this, okay? And I apologize ahead of time for all this reading. So it says a file is downloaded to a computer at a rate modeled by a differentiable function f of t, where t is the time in seconds. Ooh, that's important. Since the start of the download and f of t is measured, oh, since, uh, is measured in megabits per second, which of the following best uh, is the best interpretation of f prime of five is equal to 2.8, okay? Holy cow, so much to break down. It's ridiculous, but it'll be fun. All right, here we go. Let me delete all that. So much to break down, but once you get these down, they're not too bad. All right, so we're looking for f prime of five, and it's equal to 2.8. One way of looking at this is it's 2.8, whatever the units are, okay? So it's gonna be the units of F divided by the units of T in this case, because it's F of T. So it's 2.8, whatever the units of F divided by T are. I wouldn't write it like that because it's very that's very terrible. I'm just writing that down for my thinking. I guess I should probably write it down a little bit more formally. So it's gonna be 2.8 units of F whatever those units of F are, divided by the units of T. Okay. Well, luckily, the problem actually tells you what the units of F are. They are, where does it say it? Right here. It's measured in megabits per second. Okay. So I'm going to say that this is equal to 2.8 megabits per second divided by the units of time and if you notice right here, it says the units of time is in seconds. So right away, we have our context for what that F prime of five means. But we don't have it in context for whatever the five is, okay? So you have to take that into account 
um, when we actually solve this problem. But the main thing we are looking for, sorry about that, the main thing we are looking for is anything that has a 2.8 megabits per second per second or per second squared, okay? If you notice the first one says megabits per second, we, that's not the answer, okay? At t equals five, the rate at which the file is downloaded is 2.8 uh, megabits per second. No, okay? It's not, a, it's, not a, it's megabits per second squared. So it's not that one. Let's skip B for now. Um, C, over the interval from zero to five, 2.8 megabits of the file are downloaded. No, it's the rate of the rate is 2.8, not just 2.8 megabits. There's not even any time in this. That's insane. It's not that one, okay? This one says average. Never pick the average one unless they try to trick you, which I've never seen you, them do that. But a derivative is not an average. So you cannot use the average rate of change, okay? Now, if you really wanted to, you could look at B and go, wait, it's 2.8 megabits per second per second. Obviously, that's the answer. You can do that, yes. I just purposely skipped it to show you why the other ones do not actually work. And they are always like this. It's always some novel, and then you have to read all these other multiple choice problems that are related to it. We're gonna do another one, only you'll do it on your own. So I kinda wanna see where you're gonna go with this. But that's essentially what you do. Some people read the multiple choice answers first and then they go back to the question. That works sometimes, but I would kind of do what I did here. But again, it, it's completely up to you, you're the boss. So if you have your own little way of solving these kind of things, then do it that way, I don't care. So T is greater than or equal to zero hours, so you can't have negative time in this universe, apparently. Which of the following is the best interpretation of H prime? Of 24. Okay, let's look at A. It says the change in temperature during the first day. Okay, it's never going to be just the change, which kind of gives away for B because the derivative is the rate of change. It's not just how much it changes. Okay, for example, if you did like change in Y over change in X, this is the rate at which these things are changing. If you wanted just the change, it would just be change in Y. Okay, so that's the sign right there that it's not going to be these two. This one, it definitely won't be A. No one actually marked A because it says during the first day. It would be during a particular hour because the this right here is in hours. Right? Where does it say that? Is a function that gives the temperature? Oh, yeah, hours right here. That's embarrassing right here, hours. So the, the full day would be 0 to 24 hours, not just during the 24th hour. So if you marked B because of that, you're at least partly right because it says during that 24th hour, it's that instantaneous time at the 24th hour. Okay, C is definitely not going to be it because of the average rate of change. D, the rate at which the temperature is changing during the first day. So it's not that based on the same thing I said for A. So E is the answer, the rate at which the temperature is changing at the end of the 24th hour, okay, exactly at that spot. Not the, not the full 24 hours, just the exact 24th hour. So it's E. Okay, but you can see how these can be a little bit tricky. So things to look out for, you want rate, you don't want average, you don't want just change, you want rate of change. Um, look for the units like I did with the other one that we did. In this one, the units don't help as much, but just kind of giving you different looks at these. Your practice problems for these, it's just a ton of them. They're all multiple choice because that's just how, it, that's how these problems tend to be. Okay. There are going to be some instances where it's free response and it says interpret the units of the whatever you calculated. Okay. But you're doing it the same way that we just did it here. It's just F over X. Okay. 